26-year-old Tanya met 21-year-old Tom just 18 months ago, and she quickly moved him into her two-bed semi in Swindon. I love Tom probably more than I've ever loved anyone else, else I wouldn't be with him. I do love her very much, yeah. Um, I, I can't really imagine life without Tanya now. He's been here a year, but it still feels like her place, not their place. All I do really is live here, eat here, sleep here, sort of spend time here with her. I've never had any sort of way to, to show that it's, it's actually mine. Tanya knows she's got to let Tom make his mark on the house, but they're both strapped for cash. We very much pool our resources, sort of pay for the bills. We'd love to do things, but we'd have to save and save and save for months. So to speed things along, we're giving them £10,000 and three weeks to transform Tanya's place into Tanya and Tom's. But there's a catch. They've signed a contract that says Tanya has to move out, leaving Tom to make every design, decorating and DIY decision by himself. I can either get a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation 3. Tanya will have no say in what happens to her precious home. You can't go that wrong, surely. <gasps> but while Tom's home alone, yes, baby. Tanya's going to be let loose on this exact replica of her house. It's really girly, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. pinks and things like that. In total secret, she'll turn her life-size doll's house oh. into her dream home. <laughs> and just 48 hours before he's due to finish the real house, and what am I doing? We'll show Tom Tanya's idea of domestic perfection. This is what Tanya would have done with the house. I don't know anything like this, have I? <laughs> Will he stick to his plan or try to give Tanya what she really wants? Tanya would go nuts if she, if she saw this coffee table and skip right now. What will Tanya do when she back. finds out Tom's binned all her stuff? No, the philosophy behind this is if it doesn't go, I'm throwing it in the skip. You've thrown all my stuff away. Yeah. And he spent the cash on all the wrong things. You've sent the money how I thought in my worst fears you'd spend the money. The stakes couldn't be higher. Her name sold all the deeds, and if one of these structural walls comes crashing down, it, it's going to be my neck on the line when she gets home. Oh. Today, 26-year-old Tanya is moving out of her house and back in with Mum. I'm definitely feeling all left out of the situation, which is a really weird feeling, especially when you're like being in control of everything. It's um, a little bizarre. Her 21-year-old boyfriend, Tom, is determined to prove he can be the man about this house. Since her dad died, I want to step in and be the next one in line. I'll never replace family, because there's nothing like your family but I want to be the one that she will come to. Oh, I want to show her that I can provide for her um, through thick or thin, really. At the moment, this new build two-bed semi boasts a leaky bathroom, a cramped living area, and a kitchen with no room to swing a cat. They both know the place needs a makeover, but their ideas are poles apart. Tanya's taste is definitely out there. She's the sort of person who would buy a kitchen and put a bright pink wall in it. My favourite colour is pink, <laughs> funnily enough. <laughs> and I would probably like a bit of pink somewhere in the house. And fingers crossed, Tom might do that for me. Tom's dreaming of a high-tech, monochrome lads pad. I like hyper-efficiency. Not, not just efficiency, hyper-efficiency. I like all that sort of functionality of the things. But for homebird Tanya, it's all about the personal touch. It's important to me to have things that reflect a bit of your personality. I've had a lot of time to collect things and put things up in my own house, and he hasn't quite had that yet. Tanya's knick-knacky. She likes things to be out on show. She likes mementos. She likes vases on show. And that bugs the hell out of me. If Tanya was doing the place up, she'd know exactly where to start. Through here is our bathroom. I've had so many problems with it, it needs ripping out and we need to start again. We have to keep taking the sealant off and resealing it because it keeps leaking. Definitely, that would be top up <laughs> on my list of priorities. But rugby player Tom's not interested in the bathroom. If I had a nice kitchen, I would be much more house proud. I'd be much more inclined to have people over and say, oh, enjoy yourself while you relax with a beer and the rugby. Kitchen's the main thing for me, I think. Time for Tom and Tanya to say their goodbyes. 
the next time they see each other, their love nest will be completely transformed. This is the opportunity for him to show me he can take control, he can do it right, and I can trust him with it. This opportunity is me being in complete control. Live with it. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Don't worry. I'm not gonna worry. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Okay. Gonna have fun. Don't ruin our house. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm very aware now that I have actually got to do something over these next three weeks. It's not actually going to be a holiday. And I'll pee with the door open and things like that. Because there's not Tanya here saying, don't do that, it's disgusting. And it, it's going to be strange, it's going to be completely male company now for, for, for three weeks. So we'll, we'll, we'll see, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss a load. Knowing that I can't even sort of go anywhere near the house, go back, speak to him, it's, it's like cold turkey. It's almost like you've broken up with somebody. He's going to be there now, and he's going to be talking about what he's going to do, and I haven't got a clue. And what better place to talk than down the pub, where Tom, better known by his last name, Bernie, is meeting up with rugby mate Callie. Right. Project Bernie. Uh, I think one of the things I'm looking forward to getting stuck into most is getting rid of all the clutter and the crap and the, the little bits and pieces that Tanya puts around the house to make it look pretty. And li little. You've got your main thing for that. A nice big skit. She would crucify you. You can't start thinking like that. So what are you going to do? Pack it up and put it somewhere else? I suppose so then she'll just get it back out, won't she? Exactly. In three weeks know, time. If you're going to do this, you've got to do it properly. If you don't like any of that, go straight in the skit. All right, all right, I'll go, I'll go with that. What tools do I need? Have you got any tools? I ain't got any tools. I've got hammer with with the curvy bit on the end for pulling nails out. Claw hammer. Claw hammer. You really have no idea. I, I really haven't got a clue. Good God. Tom may be a DIY dunce, but he does have a plan. Ideally, I would set the TV that I've got into the wall so that I can have all the wires behind. Do you want to lose that space? Well, I was just it's not do work it. for nothing. You just have a telly on the wall, surely. Yeah, but you can set it into the wall and it look flush. But if you then make that a sort of um, a, a head, headline wall, not a headline wall, an important wall. An important wall. Hmm. I think it's called a feature wall. Back at the house, Tom's vision is starting to take shape. Smash out that wall. Move kitchen. Thought or so this way. Uh, extract a fan there and hob there so people, you can sort of see and cook and it makes it a little bit more interactive. Tom thinks he can create more space by knocking down the wall between the kitchen and the sitting room. But what he really wants is tons of boys' toys. He's after a high-tech lighting system, which will mean ripping out all the ceilings. Plus, he wants to build a fake wall to house his big HD TV. Build out about four inches and I'd have it sort of set in so the wall looked, it looked like it was actually in the wall. Do you think that's a stupid idea? In a word, yeah. It may be a stupid idea, but that's not going to stop Tom. At the moment, he's only thinking about himself. He's got no intention of tackling Tanya's problem bathroom. <laughs> Project Burning's now in motion. Let the fun and games begin. Mm. At her mum's house, Tanya and friend Hayley are fearing the worst. I couldn't live in something I hated. You know, you wouldn't buy a house if you didn't like what was in it. I'd have to rent it out and move out. That would be the worst case, awful scenario. Or that I've then got to find the money to put it right. I have a few visions that when I left, his mates have turned up with a van or a skip. And, and a couple of crates of beer. Yeah, and everything's just gone in the skip. And it won't matter whether it was of any sentimental value to me. Mm. That's very scary. Tanya must be psychic, but what's arriving? And her mum, Janet's just as worried. Tom doesn't know anything about building. Uh, I really don't think he knows anything at all. I mean, 
that's down to his age really, he's 21 and you can't have done an awful lot of DIY when you're 21 so um, I can't, oh my god I think he knows nothing. Tom's chucking everything out, anything to do with Tanya's past is being binned. This isn't strange because I know she she wants to come back and have all this sort of stuff here, I expect. But it's not going to be. Tom needs help. Rugby teammate and DIY maestro Scott is the man. And because he's a proper builder, he won't pick up his tools till he's had a butty and a boot. Tanya's only been away a day, but it seems like Tom's forgotten about her already. There we are. Brilliant. Tanya would go nuts if she, if she saw this coffee table. Let's get right now. Because she, she likes the coffee table. She thinks you need something in the middle of the room to make it a decent looking room. Uh, I disagree. And um, as she's not here, I've, I've prevailed. And it's not just the coffee table that's heading for the dump. He's clearing out the garage without yeah, even yeah. checking what he's throwing away. Shall I get the bag? Yeah. I think that's the best thing I've done so far. All traces of Tanya have now been removed from her house, leaving a completely blank canvas. Across town, Tanya and her friend Ali are about to discover they've got a blank canvas of their own. It's a life-size replica of the ground floor of the house, and it's up to Tanya to turn it into her dream home. OK, so it's set up. This is actually my house, Not isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and just clicking. Yeah. <laughs> it took a minute, yeah. <laughs> right. So what would you do with it? I want something... It's going to be girly, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. pinks and things like that. So, like, I don't want anything leather and I don't want anything black. So I think we'd look at, like, a fuchsia or mm -hmm. maroon kind of colours, aubergines and stuff like that. Okay. You definitely need colour, though. I couldn't live in an all-white right, all room. No. Colour is really important, isn't it? Tanya wants to go completely open plan. Do we just take all this out? Knock it all down? I think I'm getting rid of that whole wall. Breakfast bar comes out, separates your two rooms as kind of like a room divider. Yeah. So you see, in here, if you didn't have a wall there, you'd move all of this and you'd have that extra space here. Will you be taking this wall out as well? Yeah. Okay. You'd have to. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise it would look wrong. Yeah. Totally unaware of Tanya's secret project, Tom and the boys are getting stuck in. Out comes the dodgy kitchen. And down comes the living room ceiling ready for the flashy lighting system. But office worker and self-confessed pen pusher Tom is already struggling. I'm trying to unscrew possibly the most stubborn screw I've ever come up again. <sighs> later and Scott's got the whole ceiling down. But Tom's still trying to get unscrewed. He's a stubborn bastard. This removing a screw thing needs a pro. Good job. What can you do that? Oh, I like <laughs> that. I'm knackered, yeah. Proper knackered. This is how it works. It's only two days in, and Tanya's already having second thoughts. I thought this was all a good idea, and now it's starting to sink in that I don't actually know what's going on. Would you trust him? I don't think he'll do anything really terrible. <laughs> Why does everybody do that? Everyone says, Tom won't do anything terrible. Should we sit down? I'm worried he might get so focused on one thing that... Everything else is forgotten. Mm, doing what do you think Tom's doing now? My honest opinion, that they will just rip everything out. But he'll probably gut everything before he knows what he's putting in instead of it. And that's what worries me. She's not wrong. 
The boys are ripping out the wall but haven't got a clue what to do next. It's completely different, isn't it? it this, this is what it's all about. I think this is, this is sort of Tanya coming home to a house that she won't recognise. Tanya really wants Tom to be ambitious. All I know is how much money he's got to spend. And how I'd spend that and how he'd spend that is very different. If he wanted to, he could pretty much do most of the inside of our house with that. £10,000 would go in a two-bed house. You could get a kitchen and a bathroom and you could do a lounge and it would look nice. But Tom's got no intention of doing the bathroom and he's only doing the kitchen to get more toys. Perfect kitchen is sort of modern, functional, but with, with plenty of gadgets in it. That's actually very nice, that. Oh, that thing's going to kill me if I got rid of a fridge and put a white fridge in instead. That's nice, I like that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Tanya and mate Anna are also after a kitchen for the doll's house, but gadgets aren't even on their radar. I just need it to be bright and stand out, thinking that you could actually have a coloured kitchen, which mm. would be quite funky and yeah. different. And that's what I want, is it to stand out and be something different from everybody else and be individual. The only thing this couple have in common is that they don't agree about anything. I'm pretty sure that actually Tanya would quite like that, but uh, I don't like it one little bit, so I wouldn't put it in the kitchen. I think it's her, it's, it's colour, she likes colour as well as modern and, and fashionable. So I think it's her, but it's definitely not me. It's horrible. <laughs> bit, bit blunt, but it's horrible, I think. Tanya's immediately fallen in love with a modern, fashionable, <laughs> coloured kitchen. I don't even wow. need to look at anything else. That's lovely. This is funky. It is funky. Look at the, like, the shimmery finish. I know that that's what I really love now. Yeah. It's really girly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Show my little boy. Very girly. Doesn't <laughs> matter what he thinks. <laughs> Just in case you didn't see the colours. Yeah. Colours. That's much more Tanya's kitchen, but not mine. I mean, she walks around. She has pink in her hair occasionally. She's had purple in her, so she would probably pick either yeah. of those, rather than a solid white kitchen. But um, she doesn't get the choice. And I'll get oh. some lemon colours for you. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. I'm going to rue the day I said that. Tom knows what Tanya would like, but he's ignoring it. He spent three grand on predictable white kitchen units and matte black worktops. With the gloss white, the gloss black and, and the brush deal, I think this says Tom a lot. Yeah, I think this says, look, this is me, I'm not afraid to say it. The first week is over. The walls and ceiling are down and the electrics are going up. Tom's found another stash of Tanya's treasured possessions, but instead of spinning them this time, he's decided to flog them off at a car boot sale. How thoughtful. Now, the philosophy behind this is if it doesn't go, I'm throwing it in the skip. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I think if Tanya saw me selling this, she'd be a little bit upset. She would probably think of more sentimental value or something like that. As long as it sells, I don't care how much it sells for. You can have them for 10p each. I have those those. OK. I think I'm going to have to work on my presentation skills. And now we got a Tommy Tippy thing, I don't know. We haven't got kids, we've never had kids. And hopefully, me being 21, I won't have kids for a while. 20 quid? Fantastic, thank you very much. Cool. I'm pleased, I came with a car full, and I'm leaving with a, uh, a box full. Tom would make Sir Alan proud. He's got £200 for Tanya's stuff, which he can blow on more boys' toys. <laughs> Week two, and the boys are scouting for something to sit on. We should be able to wipe the stains off. <laughs> Tanya and her pal Anna are also off shopping, but Tanya's more concerned about what Tom's been buying. So do you think Tom would pick something like that? I hope not. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm going and hire a strip. <laughs> it is very boyish. I'm not a fan at all. So let's just keep our fingers crossed.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be the hardest way to watch telly ever invented. I want to go home and it's, you know, individual and different. Right, unique. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm, I'm looking and hoping he does something that appeals to me and that mm. he's proving he's thinking about me. <laughs> All you need is some warm apple pie. <laughs> See, we're taking this seriously. He knows I want something colourful, and he can tell that just by our personalities. I'd be a little bit disappointed if he didn't try and actually put some colour in that he thinks I'd like. But Tom's gone for a typical bloke sofa. It's big, faux suede, and he's ordering it in black. He even gets to build it himself. This one, 898 quid for this. You'd want it in pure black, though, wouldn't you? Yeah with my new lighting system, on my mood setting lights, my new TV set onto the wall with the surround sound playing, my favourite songs, a nice bottle of cold beer. <laughs> After smashing up that coffee table, I'm thinking, what am I going to put my feet on? I'm thinking I might actually need to buy some sort of coffee table. Back at the house and the boys are getting stuck in. The wiring for the lighting system is done. Now all the Chuckle Brothers have got to do is Shut put up a new ceiling. Shut up! Let go of that now, mate. It won't fall down. You need two screws. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good start, boys. It's going to be a long night. Yeah. Right. It's going to be a long night for the boys and a fun night for the girls. Cheers! What do you reckon Tom's doing right this moment? Tom, right now? Oh, yeah. I hope he's doing something to the house because he hasn't got much time left. He hasn't, has he? <laughs> no. He's still got a week. We're over that. halfway now. Yeah, we are. He's so, got, what, nine days? Yeah, he's got to be painting and putting things up on the walls. And... So he's going to be spending... Yeah. Never mind the walls, they haven't even got a ceiling. This is a proper Lauren and Hardy building. <laughs> 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 Spin it. Push to me, sorry. Push it up, then. I like a man who uses his head at work. Well, I think it'll make you realise but that you can totally trust him. Yeah. Yeah. Because although he is, he is a mature guy for his age, we've probably all got a niggle in the back of our minds. <laughs> I really? Know. <laughs> yeah. no, well, I, know might... know, I know what you mean. Like a niggle thinking, you know, what is he going to do? Yeah. But is he going to be think, silly? I yeah. genuinely <laughs> think that that he is, he's mature enough. Can we swap? Because <laughs> I can't hold that end up for me, can I? We're swapping. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not walking from one chair to the other. Yes, you are. Get on in steps for me, yeah, Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't you dare. <laughs> Hurry up, my arms are dying. But let's think about what if he does something I really like? He's in for a good night. <laughs> Way through the challenge. Tom spent almost £7,000 for the electrician, building materials, flooring, a sofa, a kitchen, and a snazzy radiator. That's lovely, that is, isn't it? It looks like a fence. <laughs> My stainless steel fence. <laughs> to boost the budget, he's flogged Tanya's most treasured possessions, and her precious coffee table's been skipped. The new ceiling's nearly finished. This isn't the most stable of surfaces I've ever been on. The next big job is fitting the lighting system. Oh, you know what? Oh. Hi. Hello. Um, some wallpaper. Tanya's doll's house is starting to come together. The wall between the kitchen and sitting room has come down, creating plenty of space for her bright purple units. Now she needs to get herself some equally colourful wallpaper. OK. Yeah, you quite like this one, don't you? Yeah, I mean, it's mm. the silvery bit of the mm -hmm. background, that colour, but I'm not sure about they that. They look like they might be trying to be flowers, but they're a lot more modern. Luckily, modern's also Tom's thing. 
He's forked out over a grand on his laddish lighting system, which has taken a huge bite out of his dwindling budget. Stainless steel, modern, chic, stylish. And basically, it's got four settings. Each one you push puts the lights on a different way. Right. So you might, your one might have everything on full power. Your two might have your back stuff on full power, your front stuff dimmed. Yeah. And then three might be mood lighting or something. But it's, it's, it's a Gucci bit of kit. I can imagine it is for that, man. <laughs> well, I mean, see, I've never bought a light switch. I, I didn't know it was good or bad. 20 quid is what you should be paying for a light Well, yeah, switch. but it's the same with the radiator. <laughs> Going for modern, stylish, <laughs> design, designer elegance. Oh, right. That's what you call it. That's what I call it. Tom's gone gadget bonkers. Have you budgeted for the Blu ray and the speakers? Yeah. That's going to be about 500 quid. Yeah. Do you have to really get a Blu-ray player? Well, I can either get a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3. I discounted PlayStation 3. I, 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 no, I can't get a PlayStation 3. Right. Tanya killed me if I bought a PlayStation 3. Right there. Nope. Tomorrow you need to go and do a proper thorough budget every single penny. This is a thorough budget. No, it's not. Kiddo, this does no, pennies. It's not. This does pennies. No, it doesn't. It, that's a 12 piece. So that's blue, a Blu ray a, player plus speakers, about £500. That's not a fair budget, is it? Yeah, because I don't exactly. know how much it's going to be, do I? That's right, it's not a fair budget then, is it? Seriously, you, you've got to stop coming over here so much. We're turning a married couple. <laughs> <laughs> TV that I don't need. Tom's down to his last grand. It's enough cash to fix the leaky bathroom, but he's after a Blu ray player. I could play BDs, DVDs and CDs, SDs and USBs. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank Thank you. You. Andy. This is Tom Stamp. This, this is all of it. This is, uh, yeah, the sofa, the flooring, the, the new walls. All of it combined is the sort of the Tom Stamp. Tanya's stamp is more girly than Gadget. This is the dream sofa yep. at the moment. <laughs> no money spared. She spotted the perfect unit for Tom's big TV. <laughs> How cool is that? One that hides it. I want that. This is what I want. <laughs> this is what I want in my lab. Then you can like tuck your books away, have your books out, put your DVDs away, have your DVDs out. I like this a lot. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But Tom doesn't want his tech hidden. He spent two weeks building a huge wall to show off his impressive 42-incher. This hole is for my TV. This hole is my uh, speaker. And this hole is my radiator hole. The style I've gone for is flush to the wall so there's going to be no raised bits. And they're going to be very slick, very almost into the wall, which, which is, I think, a running theme throughout this. We've got the TV in the wall. We've got the radiator in the wall. We've got every, all the wires, every, everything that was on show is now in the wall or in the ceiling. And so, um, yeah, I think we could potentially change the name from Project Bernie to Project In The Wall. It's Saturday night, the end of the second week, and Tanya's thoughts are firmly on her toy boy. I can't wait to get back and actually just sit back in our lives again. And it's like your whole life stand upside down. So missing him is just one part of so many emotions because you realise how much you love somebody and how they are just the other half of you. I am missing Tony now. I don't think I've ever felt quite so lonely. Sort of nine things out of 10 we'll do together. And it gets that, it's sort of like part of me is just not there because there's, there's not someone there saying, Let's do this, let's do that. I, I need a bag. <laughs> oh well, if you can't be with the one you love, love the ones you're with. It's a boozy rugby club night. But after shouldering the lion's share of the work, the thought of Lederhosen and Lager seems to have put Scott in a bad mood. I know, I'm knackered too. I'll buy you Red Bull. What do you mean you're knackered? What have you done today? No, just get all that. You've done more than me. No, team. no, you've done more than me, and we know that. Yeah, shut up. Man. No, but I'm still allowed to be tired. 
Yeah. You sit out here on your own. Yeah, we're oh, we're going to band. band. Is that right? Cool. You come and join the band? All right. This is Ember. I'll be all right, a couple more of these. Don't think I'll be working tomorrow. It's the morning after the night before. The boys had planned to prep the walls for painting today, but with Scott nursing a hangover upstairs, they're stuck. It's time. Yes, it is. Oh. Hey, this is the most action you've had in three weeks. I know, I know. <laughs> finished the doll's house, so she's taking some time out. Definitely think we've got the uh, good end of the deal here. In comparison to Tom. To Tom yeah. yeah, no, I would He's agree with that. Hard end. graft. I would hope that at the moment he's doing finishing touches and it's more about um, you know, accessories and furniture rather than painting and decorating. Do you think he should have kind of got past that stage by yeah. now? I think Tony would be impressed with the progress. We, we, we've done a lot. I mean, really, this is sort of finishing off now, isn't it? Apart from floor. And the kitchen. Yeah, the kitchen's yeah, going to be done tomorrow. Oh, we've got to paint it, put the skirting on, finish it, yeah. Yeah, that's all we've got to do. Then we've got to build a sofa. So after two busy weeks, the boys have basically installed a bunch of spotlights, made a big holy wall, and bought a glorified dinner set. And on. And dimmed. And bright. Hey! And off. Hey, it's the gadget well worth a thousand pounds. Tanya's real house may be a tip, but her doll's house is looking good. Today, she and Ali are going to see it finished for the first time. <laughs> oh my God, wow. Oh my word, I can't believe that. How clever am I? I actually don't know what to say. It's amazing, uh, isn't it? I absolutely love it. Is this what you're thinking? Yeah. Pretty much. This is I just so much more be. than I thought it was going to be. Okay. This is absolutely... Amazing. Tanya's room is completely open plan. The perfect place to entertain friends and family. By removing two of the kitchen walls and installing a breakfast bar, the rooms flow effortlessly from one to the other. Look at the kitchen. I'm so excited, I just want to jump up and down. Seeing this now and the potential for what it could look like, mm -hmm. It's a totally different place. Yeah. Totally different. Bold splashes of colour unite the two rooms, from the high-gloss kitchen units to the feature wallpaper and matching chair in the lounge. The colours just look absolutely fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted to do, have colours in the house that would just make it look so much more fun and exciting. Unlike Tom, she's hidden her TV behind a glossy wall unit. The Oh, dude, this is just like, can I just stay here forever then? <laughs> can we bring Tom here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't need to go home then. Oh. Quite overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, my expectations are so high now. Ridiculously high. I thought they might be. I've given up my whole house, and now it's nothing to do with me whatsoever. Is it? It's just no. not going to be me at all. No, it isn't, to be frank, no. If he spent any money on silly gadgets, I'd be so upset with him. <laughs> he still knows that if he does that, then you're going to not be very happy with him at all. He should be really scared right now, actually. Poor Tom doesn't have time to be scared. 
With just four days to go before Tanya comes home, the boys are working around the clock. Another day in paradise. There isn't any margin for error now. Everything has got to run smoothly and be done. Basically, if you know any cock ups, then we're pretty much screwed. Yeah. We are going to start the floor. But already there's a problem. Tom spent £130 on underlay, but they have no idea how it lays under. That doesn't work. How do we sort it? There's no way of sorting it, because you can't take this back up now. We, we've got to put it back out, it'll, it'll look shit. This is the one in the room that needs to look good. Should we can it now and just get glue? No, but the glue's about 60 quid apart. Yeah. Can it now and get glue? Yeah. We would be here forever trying to get them joints to look right. It'd be quicker with glue as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, ten times quicker. Yeah, get it with just now. 48 hours to go, the boys really need to be moving forwards, not backwards. But there's another task to complete. It's time for Tom to see Tanya's dream home. I know this is what Tanya would have done with the house. Well, I haven't done anything like this, have I? <laughs> Ours is a lot better. You reckon? Yeah. Oh. That's actually not bad, is it? No, it's nice. And then, oh. What? Don't get me wrong, I like what I've done. But now I see what Tanya would have done. It's making me think, oh, I've done the right thing. There's colours in the room, isn't there? And yours is pretty much oh, no. <laughs> black and white. She's even got a blooming chair that matches the... Oh, She's done a good job here, got to say. This, this looks lovely. Uh, I like the sofa. Yeah, it's fabric as well. Yeah. I've gone for a suede sofa. Oh! Yeah, Tanya's also put photos all around. Yeah, you've got that one of her. I've got one. <laughs> More than me. I think the kitchen's too open, to be honest. Yeah, we've kept the wall there. We've, we've kept the kitchen, we've kept an entrance hall. If we'd have got rid of that, we'd have had no entrance hall. Yeah. And I think you need an entrance hall somewhere for people to come into. Is she going to like what we've done? She ain't got much choice, to be honest. <laughs> she, she, has, she hasn't got a lot of choice, you're right. Tom may be putting on a brave face, but the gap between what Tanya wants and what he's giving her is finally hitting her. I don't think we could be more different, could we? She's gone for homely feel, hasn't she? That's why she's, she's put in all, all this sort of stuff. And that's what it is, it's stuff. And that drives me crazy. Whereas I've gone much more modern. I've been a lot of gadgets. I think... The pennies <laughs> finally dropped. I don't think I've thought about Tanya enough. I think I've thought about what I would like and I thought, would she be able to put up with it? But I don't think I've thought about her in the sense of, if she was here, would I do that? Uh, I don't think I've thought about Tanya at all in the decisions I've made. Well, like you say, she's got to live with it. <laughs> oh, this nervous laughter now. This nervous laughter is nervous laughter. I think I'm going to have to go home and, uh, and buy some accessories. In a desperate bid to put a little bit of Tanya back into the house, Tom's hitting the shops. Let's see, what colour will go with his monochrome man pad? White, I think. Don't you? I'm, I'm going to keep it black, white and stainless steel. I think just, just to keep, keep my life. Probably better you don't get the cushions in the stainless steel though, to be honest. Right next to it. it it's white if it's in with, with the style. It's got no end of it, which means that it won't get filled with crap. The white is nice. I'm not going based on Tanya's coffee table. All I've done is found a white coffee table that'll fit. She doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. 
four times. Go for a bit of man shopping now, are we? Pick it up, buy it, and let's get the hell out of here. Picture frames. If I put colour pictures in black photo frames, the colour pictures will, will put, put spots of colour in. Keep telling yourself that, mate. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> no, this is my present to Tanya. It's 20 quid from IKEA on the, on the what, day, day and a half before we finish. So that's three white cushions, a white coffee table, a white blind and one black photo frame. Good to see Tanya's colourful doll's house made such a big impression. There's just 24 hours to go before Tanya gets home and Tom's feeling done in. Last night I had three hours sleep, went about four, got up at seven. With so little time, everything needs to go like clockwork. But Tom's TV wall is already causing a headache. <sighs> I'm sure, hang on it. Bring it off. Look at his face. Look. This is the face of stress. Mm. Cheer up, bruv. Starting to regret building this flipping wall. Especially if we haven't built this, it'd be finished by now. Don't panic, alright? Alright, alright, alright. We're gonna leave you in the chair. No, no, I know. Don't just forget about the wallpaper. You just what chill you out. Go to sleep for two hours, come back and give it a second coat. Alright, and you two are gonna fuck off then, let me do it then. Tom may be losing it, but at least there's one person who still believes in him. I just think he, he will have. His ambition would be to do the whole house. Mm. That would definitely be the ultimate thing he would aim for. I've got a feeling in the back of my mind that he will have tried to replace the bathroom in some way. Okay. And it wouldn't surprise me if he tried to put a wet room in or something. Oh. I have... Can you get a little bit of privacy, please? <laughs> Thanks, you do. I have that shit. If only Tom could live up to Tanya's expectations. Even the skirting boards he's ordered don't seem right. It's like polystyrene. This stuff is a waste of money. The skirting's not sticking to the walls. What did you pay on that? 24 quid or something. You could probably skirt more the whole of it. It, it, did, say, it did say I was supposed to buy the glue that they sold with it. Why didn't you know? Because, because that's a sensible thing to do. So, I've got to live with it now. It's, it's 9 o'clock on the night before she comes back. I've got to live with it. So might as well just stop moaning about it and use it. Yeah. Yeah. To make matters even worse, the patterned wallpaper Tom's chosen is proving impossible to match up. I'll paint it white. It's, it's going to look shit, I'll paint it white. You paint it white or not? Hey? You don't want it like that. No, rip the wallpaper down, I'll paint that wall white. It's fine. It, it'll be fine for now. Just pull the wallpaper down, I'll paint it white. It's going to look shit. But these boys aren't quitters. They put three weeks of hard work into this house. Time for a final push. Don't you put it up and don't get too close to the paper. I'm not. I'm trying to get it in front of you, worm boy. What I can see now is, is Tanya, Tanya will see what I, what I tried to do. And I think that, that'll have to do. The, the, the ideas there, the thoughts there. The, uh, the production just hasn't happened. Mate. Yeah, mate. I'll see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning. Bright and early. There we go. It's 1 a.m. and Tom needs to get the furniture sorted because Tanya's coming home in less than 10 hours. I'm particularly shit at this sort of thing. Don't have any idea what that thing is. Things work. A couple of hours kip hasn't helped Tom clear his head. Oh, I'm just getting too much. Uh, yeah, it is. 20 to 9 on Sunday morning, Tanya comes home in two and a bit hours. Um, I'm actually really panicking. 
Um, I'm not going to be this. It's, it's not going to be finished. No, no, I'm going to get as close as I can to it. Uh, I want it to be brilliant, and it's, it's not brilliant, it's OK. Tom's so desperate, he's offered to bung little sister Libby 30 quid to come and bail him right. out. Can you yeah. clean the kitchen? And all that stuff out there needs to go back in the kitchen. Okay. Do you have anything to clean the place with? Uh, out in the conservatory, there's all the cleaning stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> Finally, it's time for the centrepiece of Tom's design, the big TV to be put into place. Add to this the Blu-ray with surround sound and he's got himself a top lads pad. But that's not exactly the his and hers love nest Tanya's been dreaming of. Hey, that's everything you want. Yeah, oh, God. Mm -hmm. um, what am I doing? Yeah. Well, what do you reckon there? Yeah. That's, I've been cleaning Tim. Tom, what is this? Three weeks ago, Tom was desperate to put his stamp on girlfriend Tanya's house and make her place their joint home. The transformation is finally complete, but has he pulled it off? Or has he just turned Tanya's into Tom's? It's, it feels really strange driving home, because I'm actually going to my home now, which is... That makes me kind of excited. Um, it's going to be a bit surreal. I, I feel like none of this is real right now. It's really hard to kind of take it all in that actually I've been away for three weeks and actually stuff has happened to my house. I'm, I'm exhausted. I am. I'm, I'm the tightest I've ever been. This this weekend in particular has just been non-stop. There's a lot more work gone into it, a lot more hours than I thought there was going to need to be. I'm really looking forward to seeing her. You know, I can't wait to come around the corner and show her what I've done, say, look, did this, did that. I really don't know whether she'll like it or not. She, she could come in and she'll love it, she could come in and she'll hate it. In which case, I've got three weeks of demolition again. I am a little bit worried. Tom has turned the tired looking ground floor into a minimalist black and white clutter free zone. Tanya's trinkets have all gone, and in their place is a newly created wall concealing an expensive surround sound home cinema system. Tom prioritised functionality over femininity and replaced Tanya's mood creating candles with top of the range remote controlled lighting. The small cooking space they both hated has been replaced by a glossy, masculine, monochrome kitchen. Tanya fell in love with the spacious open plan of her doll's house, but Tom's kept the hallway wall and only opened up one end of the kitchen. Tanya picked vibrant colours, but Tom stuck rigidly to his black and white theme. What will she make of Tom's minimalist, colour-free room? And how will she react when she discovers that in his quest to create a simple modern home, he's ditched all her treasured possessions? Not what I expected. What not at think? all. Not this. Um, are you happy with it? I like it. It doesn't look like my house. Our house. It doesn't look the same in any way, shape, or form. First thing you got to play with: light switch. Light switch. On, on the other side of the wall. Ready? <laughs> right. <laughs> Mood lighting. <laughs> right. Okay. 
dim on the sofa, right over us. Right, okay. <laughs> I've done all the ceilings. Why? Because for each of those buttons, yeah. Right. You have to have a different set of lights, set of, set of electrics. So, right, so you took the, the whole entire ceiling, ceiling down. And the downstairs came down. I'm going to the kitchen, have a play. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Where's my pink? Where's all my colour? Jesus! I just only just noticed that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm trying to see the best room in the house. You ready for this? You ready? <laughs> I ran out of time. There's, there's a few bits, and you haven't seen upstairs yet. What do you mean? Well, new carpet. Yeah, that's cool. I've got a present for you in the bath. Thanks, washing up. <laughs> Great. Those Chinese plates have been there for about 14 days, I think. <laughs> this is Scott's bedroom. Okay, I don't want to look anymore, thank you. I thought that we knew each other, and that when I was going out looking at things, I automatically was like thinking about you. I actually thought more about electrical stuff than anything else. You spent the money how I thought in my worst fears you'd spend the money. I thought, oh, you're wasting money on electrical crap. Um, won't stretch the budget to the rest of the house. And I thought, but he won't do that because he won't want to let me down. I thought that you'd have done the bathroom or something upstairs because I know that that drives us both insane. This is my batch pad. It's not, it's our house. This is our house with, with a batch pad twist because you, you stole my batch pad years away from me. Well, you've just said it yourself. This is your bachelor pad. I, I yeah, did, but I no, did but that, that's, but it, it feels like Tom's house. I'm not sat in Tanya and Tom's room. Oh, I don't like that. No, it will become our room because I will just... I have, signed, I have signed up to Sky Sports again so we can get, get the rugby. The, and why are you telling me things that are just going to be right there's, off? There's a pop-up beer fridge to your right. There is a pop-up beer fridge if you look to your right. Are you being serious? <laughs> That's not even funny. <gasps> I just think it needs just some Tanya. Okay. And it hasn't uh, got any. I did throw so many knickknacks and vases and little... You throwing stuff away? Yeah. You've thrown all my stuff away. If it were something that had sentimental value to me, I don't know what to say. How does this work? Like, your skybox. Oh, God. The laughing stuff of England. The cupboard like that. I don't understand. Right. Sky. It's in the cupboard. In the cupboard. Um, surround sound is all wired through the ceiling, straight into there. Okay. iPod, you can play it. DVDs, CDs, games. We got a Blu-ray DVD player. We've got a Blu-ray DVD player. It came with the speakers. It was by the speakers, get the DVD player free. Right. How much did that cost? 600 pounds. Okay. <sighs> hey, don't cry. Oh, it's just all so much. I know, I know. It's just all so much emotion. Like coming home and and it's not what I expected you to do and it's just not what I expected. No, I, I guess I'm just You walked in thinking you knew exactly what I'd have done. <laughs> and you're you're just a little bit all over the place because because I've I've jumped you. I've, I've caught you off guard. <laughs> I do love you. <laughs> I might be a little bit disappointed if I didn't. <laughs> That's good. Tanya may be in shock, but it's time for friends and family to give their verdict. Hello. 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 What do you think? It's amazing. I love that paper. Yeah, it's absolutely oh, nice. But that's amazing. You can stand here and cook and yeah. talk to people. Little lit up. I think Tom's done pretty well, actually. You know, from the start, he was hopeless. Pretty much. And now, 
pretty spot on actually. I'm quite, quite happy with it. And for all you boys, it's built in surround sound, built in mood lighting. <laughs> I think he's done brilliant, I'm really proud of him. I am totally impressed with what Tom's done. It's beautiful. It's lovely. The best bit in this room is the light switch. The light switch was a £1,000. Are you kidding me? A £1,000 on a light switch? You never know what you're going to get, do you? No. <laughs> you don't, not with him anyway. You never know what you get with Tom. Tom owes me a lifetime of drink, I think. A pub. He's going to open up a tab in my name. This is not five years of my life. But, um, yeah, I think I've proved I can do a lot. I think I've proved Italian. I can be the provider. I can be the... The big dog, the number one. God, what's happening here? It's just storage. Oh, hold on a minute, is there storage in my sofa? Yeah. I reckon that's about four crates, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll do Scotty on his wall, man. I think now Tom's put his stamp on the house, it's going to be really, really good for their relationship. I think now I've got a chance to get to grips with the layout of the house and the colours and what he's done. I'm get, you know, now I'm, I'm sort of looking around thinking, yeah, I really like this. I'm quite excited about getting my, my hands in all the cupboards and, you know... Reorganising. Well, yeah, just, well, no, you know, just making it ours. Yeah. I think when you see everybody's reaction, it sort of makes you really proud, and that just made me really proud of you. You can just see that it's just going to be a really happy place for us, isn't mm. it? Yeah.